A close look now at this famous ERA. These pictures taken after the war, with the car now completely restored by J.C. Bamford and owned by Anthony Bamford. The driver, Willie Green. Notice the drilled chassis, the rev counter, and Willie Green at the wheel at a Prescott meeting in 1983. The driver's clothes have changed a little, the car not at all. Through the S-bend and up towards the semicircle. Notice the rather special front suspension of the D-type. A C-type ERA this time, the ex-Lord Howe R8C. Bruce Spollard at the wheel. Only two C-type ERAs were built, this one and the Beera car, which has since been rebuilt and owned by David Morris. As Bruce Spollen comes into the bottom S in R8C, let's take a driver's view of Shelsley Walsh. And who better than Raymond Mays? The kennel bend past the commentary box. A tight left-hander. Now accelerating hard up towards the crossing. Through the crossing and the left-hand kink before the S bend which looms large all too soon. Heavy braking, change down, the tail flicks out from the bottom S, up to the top S, through the top, and along the finishing straight. Shelsley is nothing if not spectacular in the wet. Bob Gerrard makes a rare mistake in the first post-war meeting. And a Riley 9 argues with the bank. Mays once more, getting the tail out of line. And that's too far out of line, isn't it? And so's that. 1946, Mays with the ERA on the hill again after the Second World War. 43.75, Abacasis with the Alta, 43.17. And Mays for his second climb. The master still has his touch. 42.79, the fastest time of day. <laughs> 